Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel. Let's get it in, y'all. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the early what I see these scripture study and prayer line on this 17th day in September 2019. Hallelujah. Um, let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go to, uh, Trying to figure this out, y'all. <laughs> okay. What should um let me think, let me think. Let's go to uh, Proverbs, y'all, 15. Let's go to Proverbs. Proverbs 15. Okay, 15 and 22. Proverbs 15 and 22. Spirit of the Most High, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. How know how? I ask you to send a relevant word that we may grow thereby. We trust, believe, and thank you. In the match name, you who shall see us when we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Um, Is that what I want? Okay, 1522, look what it say. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth. And a word spoken in due season. How good is it? Um, <clears throat> the, the 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 importance of uh, counsel. The, the importance of 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 of, of counsel. If you if you if you want to destroy a people, destroy their 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 their, their counselors. There, there are people that know that. You wanna you wanna control a people, destroy their counselors. The, the council. Those that have their best interests at heart, that have the wisdom to give instruction. You want to destroy people, kill their leaders. Get, get rid of their leaders. There's some people that know that. Strategy to destroy their leaders. You, 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 you want to take it further? Destroy the fathers. I take the fathers the counselors out of the home.
without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Um, we was dealing with uh, Peter last night, how he had no intentions on portraying the Messiah. But yet he did. One of the tactics the devil used to get him to portray the Messiah was to attack the Messiah. He couldn't get the Messiah to turn on Yah, but he still attacked him. And the Messiah knew that that tactic would work on his followers. And he quoted scripture. It says, smite the shepherd and the sheep gonna scatter. He was the counselor. He was the one that they depended on. So 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 if I can get if I can get him, by default, I get them. Without counsel. Purposes are disappointed. You have a purpose to do what's right, but you need direction, you need counsel. If you look at the plan of the Most High, right? Look at the, the, the circumstance he found man in, in a sinful state. So he purposed in himself to rescue us. After the counsel of his own will, he counseled with himself because counsel is... Uh, I extremely important. So he purposed in himself, he counseled with himself according to Ephesians, the first chapter. And he purposed with himself that he was rescue man. Then what he did was he, he, he went into motion, came down 42 generations, rolled himself as a man. Right? Lived a perfect example, died on the tree rose again with all power. Then he came back as a counselor, the Ruah, the comforter, the spirit of counsel. The word leads and guides us. It, 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 it deals with us. He came back as the counselor because counsel is important. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. You mean to do right, but you need counsel. The, the, the disciples, when he told them that they would be scattered, they'd be offended by him, they'd be running from him. But he showed step by step how it played out. They needed counsel from the Most High. In the Garden of Gethsemane, they needed they needed they needed counsel from the Most High, but they were too tired. They couldn't they couldn't get a prayer through. They needed they needed to be in constant contact with the Most High so He can lead and guide them. But they fell asleep. He came back and checked on them three times, but they were they 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 they, they, they couldn't get any instruction from the Most High. He, we need to acknowledge him in all our ways that he might direct our path. We, we, we don't need carnal counsel. That's the last thing you need. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the unyali. Got to be careful who counsel you now. You can come to somebody and, and end up deader than you was before you came to him. But we need counsel. And the counselor need the word. Mm -hmm. All counsel comes from Yah. I'm talking about counsel that that will will lead to eternal life. That will encourage one to keep going. 
somebody overtaken in a fall. You with your spiritual restore. How? Through counsel. Through the conversation. Though, though our sins be red like crimson. He said, let's counsel. Let's talk about it. Let's reason together. He's the most highest willing to work it out. To destroy a people, you take the counsel from him. That's a trick that they play on Israel. See, counselors try to uh, rise up to try to rescue Israel, to try to give them their independence back as a people. Israel is so scattered, they don't have no self-value. Israel is... It has been reduced to they got to they got to fight for causes. They can't fight together as a nation, as a people, because they so twisted. If you start coming together as a nation, as a people, the Israel themselves think that they're racist, that you're a racist. It, every nation works in and of itself together. Except for Israel. <laughs> and if you start coming together as a people. They've been so beat down that they think something wrong with that. So Israel always has to go to the council of someone else that don't like them. They got to go to their courtrooms. They got to go to their prisons. They got to go to their mediation. They got to they, they gotta get counsel from a people that don't like them, that don't understand their plight. The ones that's not as malicious and intentionally killing their leaders but the ones that are beneficiaries of it, they don't know how sinister the plan of their people are. And they believe in that system. And so, but they're the ones that don't understand the plight of the nation. They don't understand the struggle of the nation. They don't sympathize. They don't empathize because they don't understand it. The importance of counselors. See, a counselor, anytime you get right counsel, they're going to give you words that's going to encourage you and, 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 and they're going to be purpose driven. And, and the things that they tell you is going to help you. That's why your enemy know that if they get the leadership, those that will come with instruction and direction, Get rid of them because they want you to come to them for instruction. They want you to work for them. They want to keep control over you. They want to be your counselor. You know the devil want to be your counselor. Don't you know that? Because if he can counsel, he can keep you where you're at. He can destroy you. Without counsel... Purposes are disappointed. You mean well, but you need you need you need to be led by his spirit. Proverbs teach that a child left to himself will bring their parents to shame. That's true in the spirit too. A child left to himself and their carnal thoughts will leave will, will bring Yah to shame when it comes to them. Y'all ain't going to never be shameful now. The type of shame, meaning, meaning he'll be disappointed in you. He tell us to meditate in his word day and night so we can be like that tree planted by the rivers of water. Meditating his word day and night is being counseled by the word. You're meditating in the word so the word can counsel you, can lead and guide you. That's why he came back as the Ruah to lead and guide us into all truth. We're meditating his word day and night. So that whatever we do will prosper. Because he's going to instruct you. Because without it, your purpose is disappointed. You're not, you're not going to be able to pull it off. Peter had every intention on obeying him and not turning on him. He, he didn't have the wherewithal to do that. He had the ambition and the desire all the way down. And he pulled his sword out and was ready to fight. Let's get it on then. If it's going down, let's get it over with. But he was fighting carnally. Mose, they call him Moses. He had every intention on fulfilling the call on his life, even when he was in Egypt. And when he saw that, that the Hebrews was fighting against one another, 
he came to rescue them. Now, y'all don't do that. But prior to that, he seen an Egyptian going against a Hebrew. He killed the Egyptian. He had every intention on helping Israel, but he was doing it carnally. After he slew the, 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 the Egyptian for, 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 for beating on a Hebrew, when he went back to, to stop the Hebrews from fighting one another, one of the Hebrews said, what you going to do? Kill me like you did the Egyptian? He knew it was time for him to get out of town because he was dealing with a snitch. They was on some worldly stuff. So was Mose. He was trying to do the things of Yah the wrong way. You got people that mean well, but they need to learn the word more. They can do more damage than they do good. He had to get out of town. Because he was trying to work for Yah the wrong way. And you got people that try to work for Yah. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to minister to a soul. Soul come to them, toe up. And the soul leave worse than they was before they got in contact with them. That's why you got to continue to learn. That's You know how important it is to stay humble? Because people get to feeling themselves. Don't know what they're talking about. But get to feeling themselves. Get to get to leaning on the, you know, the Ruah. Get to them, them and Yah, folks. Folks that's given to themselves, they be believing it's them and Yah. That's where all this false doctrine come from. From people detaching themselves from the body, going out on their own, saying that it's just them and Yah. They come up with these weird, uh, 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 these these weird revelations and 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 weird conclusions, and then they got enough influence that people start following them, and now 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 you got a whole group of people that's off to the left. Off on some more dumb stuff. Started another denomination, another division. Some more mess, some more spiritual mess based on uh, folks get caught up in their pride, get caught up in their feelings and run off. It's good when you're humble because you get to take, you get to stay attached to the body. Where the Ruah really is working, where the truth is, where you can be corrected. No, you're off to the left. You, you're to the left. Come on back. Stay up under the council. The Ecclesia is the body of the Messiah. Colossians reveals that the Mashiach is the head of the body. The counsel comes from the Mashiach. The counsel, the direction, the word comes from the Mashiach. The religious folks couldn't be in the body. Go on, to, go on with that religious stuff. Man. You keep your religious stuff. Kick rock. Go over there with that. That religious stuff gets so strong, they, they had the audacity to jam the Messiah. Why your disciples don't follow this religious mess we got going on over here? And the Mashiach and, and Matter Yahoo 15 said, why do the mess you got going over there con contradict the word? <laughs> For in vain you worship me because y'all ain't tripping off what you talking about. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. When, when, the, when Ecclesia come together, where two or three gather his name, Yah's in the midst. Come on, somebody. Yah, Yah wants to work it out and protect us by his word. By the Ruah. The Ruah is his word. That's why the Ruah can't go against the word, because the Ruah is the word. The word is the Ruah. Why the Mashiach said the words that I speak unto you are ruah and life. There's spirit and life. You want eternal life? You want the word. You go against the word. You're going against the ruah. You're going against uh, 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 the word. You're going against life. You don't have eternal life if you're going against it. 23rd verse. A man have joy by the answer of his mouth. You have joy when, when somebody's overtaken in a fault. They come to you, they're restored. They're stronger in Yah because you know how to deal with it. Go to somebody, you crying on their shoulder, they get to rub in your back. Now they rub it, rubbing your waist. Now they drop below your waist and now here we go. Sinned and jumped off. You done went to the wrong person. Caught you in a time of need. In the time of being vulnerable, 
Ye which are spiritual restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Supposed to give people the word. Not your opinion. Folks come in the flesh and then you give them some of your flesh. Man, it's a fleshly mess. Situation worse off now than it was before. A man have joy by the answer of his mouth. You have joy when you're meditating in the word. Get away from that spooky spiritual stuff. The word. So you can check that spooky spiritual stuff. You need to compare that spooky spiritual stuff with the word. What the word say. Beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits where they're of Yah, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. That's why you got to check the situation by the word. What you finna say, you got to see if it line up with the word. Your next action, does it line up with the word? You got folks to what, saying stuff that don't line up with the word, doing stuff that don't line up with the word, and going to swear as Yah. Swear. Why you do that? Yah told me to do that. You need counsel. And you bless when you humble enough to be counseled. Listen, he said, except you come as a child, you shall in no wise enter in. Because a child is counselable. You can tell them something. You can teach them. You can correct them. You got grown folks running around here, stuck in false doctrine, don't want to hear nothing. You got grown folk, that spirit, they don't have a teachable spirit. They going to teach. You can't teach them nothing. Can't tell them nothing. They going to do all the telling. So if they go off on the wrong road, they just on the wrong road because they're not submissive enough to be redirected. It's the rule of the counselor. Without counsel, purposes is disappointed. Our purpose should to be like to be like the most high, to change it to his image, to be led by his rule, and his rule is love. See the, the problem, don't never forget the problem, y'all. The problem was that Adam went against Yah in the beginning. That is the problem. And when he said that 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 the, the the seed of the woman heel would be bruised by stomping on the head of the serpent. That was the first prophetic statement. But if you want to know history, world history. The problem was Adam sided with his wife and went against the Most High. That is the original problem that caused sin to come into the world. That was the problem. The solution, like, you look at the garden, there was freedom. There was freedom, there was life. Everything was everything. Now, how does it turn into this big old religious, for the lack of a better term, mess? This 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 big religion. Where's all? The I thought the problem was the relationship with the Most High was interrupted by disobedience. Then where does all this religious stuff come from? Or is this so-called religious stuff? Um, is uh, shadows of things to come to restore relationship. The restoration of relationship enjoyed by the freedom of walking in the spirit of love. That's why we need counsel. We need the counsel of the Ruah. And in all thy getting, get an understanding. We need the counsel of the spirit of love to be like the most high. 
because he reigned on the just as well as the unjust. When he reigned, it, 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 the rain fall on the devil's garden, <laughs> the evil people, the unbelievers garden as well as the belief. Come on, y'all. He's good to everybody. Judgment is coming. Don't get it twisted. Because, because, you know, the judgment of the most high isn't, isn't executed swiftly. It is set in the heart of man to do wicked, but he coming, he going to deal with it. But in the process, he's showing his, his nature. He going to work it all out. He going to work it all out. And what we need to do is be under the influence of his counsel. Had Adam been under the influence of his counsel, he would not have sided with his wife. He would have corrected his wife. He would have stood with Yah. But instead, he gave in. We got to stop giving in. And we don't want to be spooky spiritual. We want to make sure that the moves we make, Yah is telling us to make them. The things we say, Yah is telling us uh, to say it. And the only way you're going to know is if you check with the, with the, with the scriptures. With Torah. Your counsel need to come from Yah and him alone. Because without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, uh, they are established. The, the multitude of people led by the Ruah coming together, reasoning together. You're going to come out with the Yali thing to do, the Yali response. You'll be able to detect error in a multitude of counselors. A man have joy by the answer of his mouth, a word spoken in due season, how good it is, knowing what to say, when to say it, how to say it. It's going to line up with the word, y'all. You, you don't want to bring no foolishness to the table, doing stuff that you ain't supposed to be doing. Making a bad situation work. You got to be careful who you deal with when, when trouble when trouble hit. You expect folk to be higher than y'all, man. You want some joy? Say what y'all say. Say what y'all say about the situation. And nothing else. Say what y'all say. Don't make up what Yah say. And it's easy to detect because all you got to do is look at what you say Yah say and compare it to the word. It don't line up. Go on with that. Be under the counsel of the most high and then you can counsel. Because without counsel, purposes is disappointed. Folks plan to be with the most high, but they're not going to be with him unless they line up with his word. You can hope to be with him all you want. The only way you gonna be with him is if you with the word now. You gotta line up with the word now. Folks run around here sending up a storm, living lawlessly, filthy communications coming out their mouth, they wicked, holding grudges, evil, heck of religious, but just not cool, don't have the spirit of the Ruah, the spirit of love in them. They ain't gonna be with y'all. They just religious. They have a form of yaliness denying the power thereof. But those that got the real thing walk in the spirit of love and unity. They're peacemakers. And they're going to see Yah. They're led by his ruah because they're under the counsel. And the purpose of them being with him in eternity is going come, come, to come to pass. Because, because, because their goal is established through the multitude of counselors. And the counsel is, is appreciated in the 23rd verse. A man have joy by the answer of his mouth because the answer of his mouth came from, from, from the Ruah because of the counsel they're under. They're under the counsel of the spirit of the most high. Yah is their counselor so they can give the right answer. And they can appreciate the joy of their 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 yali response when people are overtaken, people headed the wrong way. They're a beacon of light for the lost. 
A man have joy by the answer of his mouth. And the word spoken in due season, how good it is. They know what to say because they know what the words say. When you don't know what the words say, you don't know, you don't know what to say. So it's best not to say nothing. If you don't know what to say, it's best not to say nothing at all. You, ain't, you, ain't, you don't always have to give an answer. Just say, I'll pray. <laughs> Could you see the Pharisees praying for Yahushua? <laughs> Yahushua said, Yahushua said that, um, told me that if I don't, if I don't eat his flesh and drink his blood, I ain't going to have no life. Girl, you lying. He said that? You need to pray for Yahushua. <laughs> Girl, let's pray for Yahushua. He said what? Except you eat his flesh and drink his blood. I'm going to tell you what the word say. You need to pray for me. Because we all need prayer. <laughs> Without counsel, we need to stay under the counsel of the Ruah, y'all. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. It ain't going to come to pass. But in the multitude of counselors, stay in the safety of the, of the body, y'all, of the ecclesia. Stay there. That's where the counsel is. Where two or three gathered in his name, he right there. Stay in the counsel. And then in the time of need, you're going to have joy by the answer of your mouth. Because a word spoken in due season, there's a situation. The season is a situation. How good it is that y'all may be magnified. Is that all right? Stay in the council. Stay in the ark of safety. Stay in the ecclesia. Stay in the word. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for another opportunity to come before you, homies. We know how gleaning in the truth of your word, praying that your word went forth with clarity. This is the sermon that is a morning snack. We pray that the word was plain and that your body is edified and that we're encouraged to stay under the influence, your influence, uh, 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 the, the influence of the Ruach. We need you desperately in these last and evil days. Continue to lead and guide us in all truth and uh, that we might have a word of truth in the time of need for others. How good it is. Uh, word our mouth, word our hearts. In the master's name, Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. That was the lesson for this morning. We pray that the word found you and unbound you if you was bound. If you're blessed by the word, feel free to push the share button so somebody else can be blessed. And um, if you're a supporter of this ministry, um, may Yah continue to bless you for that. I'm sure he is. If you'd like to become a supporter of this ministry, um, and you got the cash app, all you got to do is put in 510-209-5818. And so you'll see. Y'all want to talk about the word? All you got to do is dial 302 202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. And we can talk about it. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch, Brock, and Shalom. I'm gone.